Okay, hi everybody. In this video tutorial, I'll show you. So basically, uh, this is the application that I wrote. So what this application allows you to do, basically, you know, um, allow you to add multiple uh, upload control into your page, and then you can, you know, uh, you can um, basically upload whatever files or that you need to upload to the server easily. So. Um, this application is entirely written in, in uh, JavaScript. Uh, it uses JavaScript, of course, and it uses HTML, plain HTML, JavaScript, and then it uses jQuery library. And it's written in ASP.NET for a web form application. And then in the, in the server side, the only thing I'm using is uh, ASP.NET generic handler. ASP.NET generic handler to, to upload the file. And then let's say you know, uh, for example, here I selected some of the files, and now I'm and now I'm going to say, okay, go ahead and upload this information to the server. Done. It's already uploaded those files from here. Uh, of course, you know, um, right now this application is running um, locally from my box, but I have also uh, actually what I did, I already deployed this application into my local server. Even though it's not to uh, you know remote host server or whatever, it's to my right now the same application right now it's uh, running from IIS 7.5 and on Windows 8 applications. So basically, you know the same thing I can do. Um, let's see, I have any other images. Twitter, one image, and edit another image. I'm gonna go ahead and upload those. Right now, it is running on the server. Okay, it's not running in a local development machine. Well, it's 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 still local host, but it's running under the IIS 8.0 or 7.5. I don't know. Okay, this is the basic application. Remember, when you do this one, there is no refresh or anything because you're not a server because all the posting is done by the jQuery. Okay, now let's look at the code. How it is being done. Um, let me first go ahead and explain to you how the server side in the client side looks like. In the client side, all I have here is basic markup. I have a div tag starting from here. Um, let me make this a little bigger so that you can see it. Okay. This div section starting, this, this div particular div section I need it because I need to, if the user do not select any file, I need to tell them, hey, please select the file. They are kind of like error messages. And this is my main container. So, on the very first time, if you go into, for example, if you go into this page, you will see only one, uh, uh, you know, like, upload control and a button and a link. That's what I have starting with, okay? It's input, it's a file, and I give ID to it, and, and I say, you know what, I would like to have 400 pixel wide. This only works in IE because, you know, other browsers render differently. And the most important thing for the input control Input input file control is this guy right here. So whenever a user selects a file, these events get fired. On chains, events get fired. On that particular instance, what I have done is I have a JavaScript uh, function. I call this JavaScript function, and here I'm passing this referring to this object. Well, this 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 widget, which is you know the file DOM input file. Okay, and then. After that, after that div tag, I have a little anchor tag because remember, like, I have this anchor tag because if I click this anchor tag, it, it adds multiple um, multiple control widget into the page. So that's what that for. And then eventually, and finally, I have this. Um, well, not finally, and I have of course a button. You know, this button right here. This button. This is really fancy. CSS3 stylist button but I'm not gonna talk about CSS3 right now so let's just disregard this one in this one now and finally uh, I have this UL tag this is where you know when the files get uploaded successfully I would tell the user hey this file have been successfully uploaded that's where I put those information alright and then now let's go into the JavaScript section like I said, I'm using jQuery right here from my local host, not from Google or anything. And remember that 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 uh, whenever the user selects something, this JavaScript object 
a function gets fired and then whatever value the user enters basically is giving the absolute file location and assigning to this local variable and then eventually well and after that once I have this value right here I'm pushing that value into the array this is global variables so every time it changes a new value will be added into that global array this is this is not a really highly recommended way of writing JavaScript I should have my own kind of like library but for this demo purpose I don't have anything like that okay after that I'm saying okay See, this is just a jQuery pattern. I'm saying when the documents, when the, all the DOM objects are loaded, and go ahead and find this anchor tag right here, which is in my DOM, right? This anchor tab with the given ID, right? I'm saying, all right, go ahead and find the anchor tag and apply click event to it. When the click event fires, I want to I want to invoke anonymous function by passing the event object to it. I'm passing the event object because this is a really good function. So uh, this one is saying this function is saying okay whatever you do don't do it like prevent default whatever let's say in a in a you know anchor might have href attribute that pointing to some URL or whatever don't do whatever you generally do just prevent the default functionality and then I'm saying to jQuery hey I need to create a new um, new HTML uh, input file input widget here so I'm basically saying okay input and setting some of the attribute type is file I'm giving some class here and I'm I'm giving the same style as the other one that I ha already have in the DOM about 400 pixels and I'm, uh, I'm applying the same JavaScript function on the change event okay now just by doing that that exists in the memory it doesn't exist into any DOM object because I have kind of eventually once I append that into some already already existing container, for example, main container already exists in the DOM, that's where I'm going to append that to. Okay, at this point, a new form, for example, and add more, the new one is created for you. Awesome, right? Okay, then eventually, uh, then finally, now I'm ready to, um, and I have a validation, for example, if you do this, something like this, hey, basically, you file to upload, and you can choose data, okay, and then, when I click upload files this can work okay so okay like I said you know I'm using generic ASP .NET generic handler and this is the URL that's where I'll be posting my file well even before that right here I'm asking jQuery hey find this button DOM object and I would like to and apply a click event to it and inside the click event this is what happens and you know, this is the URL this is where I'll, I would like to post my files into and then when I come in here here I'm assuming that um, assuming that you know not assuming I'm kind of like saying this array has already populated with the, all the files that the user would like to upload if you have some file to upload good um, this little method right here is this ternary operator that we're using something if you have just only one of them right here uh, I, I, my message can be different based on how many files that you're trying to upload that's, that's all this thing here and then this block this is the magic this is where the magic happens right so I'm saying okay hey array tell me how many objects you have I'm gonna go iterate over I'm gonna go over all the elements that you have on each iteration I'm gonna because remember each iteration contains uh, the file path to upload I'm saying then I'm gonna ask um, I'm gonna ask jQuery to post that data to the server here is my URL and this is the data that I need associated with this because without that data I cannot work and this is the data I'll be, this is how you pass the data basically this little block of code is just anonymous function anonymous object has a key value pair right here's a key here's a value and then this is a callback functions so basically callback function is once the server is done processing whatever needs to be done and it will send some kind of result for it Usually you might need, you know, you might you can, from the server you can return either JSON object or you can return, um, you know, XML, XML data or just plain literal string or whatever. In my case, I'm just returning a string. That's why I do some concatenation here. And then remember that that the error mess. I mean, the when the successfully everything is done, I would like to show those messages to the my to the user. 
breaks down to the user okay that's what it's done and if there is like 